I'm going to make a video over a rack that I purchased at Ross and I'm using it to currently hold my perfumes and I'm also going to show you a letter open uh, a letter holder in which I started putting my rollerball perfumes. All right. So originally I always uh stored my perfumes in this uh cabinet, but now that I'm sharing with someone, it's kind of hard and plus I'm kind of scared that since this is like like inches taller than me, like it's it's pretty tall. Um I'm kind of scared that the bottles, like, I'll accidentally drop them or something. So I had to figure out, like, how am I going to store them just so that I can have easy access to my everyday perfumes. Okay, so, um, uh, to solve the problem, I went ahead and I purchased a rack shower caddy like this from Ross for $6.99. Totally bath shower caddy. Black onyx finish. Fits all types of shower heads, built strong to hold large and small containers of any kind. Suction cups included to prevent caddy from swaying. So yeah, it has suction cups, but I um not using them currently. So yeah. Um, this is the rack here, and this is without the packaging and everything. Um, I cut off the tags, and this is how it looks, and it holds 12 perfumes currently. And this little puff here where the soap bar would normally go, I just put this there. Um, but I like this idea because I could just put it on this, uh, these hooks right here. These um, clothing hook type things. And um, I could just take it on and take it on and off, you know. Um, but yeah. So let me go ahead and just discuss my perfumes because I know I did a perfume collection that was... That had perfumes that were mostly boxed, and these are already open because I use them on a daily basis. These are two uh, baby fat perfumes, and I use them for work. This is a Curious Britney Spears perfume. I use it for special occasions. I use this JLo Glow perfume uh, mostly during the summer. And then down here, I have a lot of. Uh, a lot of replicas but this one is a baby fat perfume as well and this one is a uh, Avon one <sighs> sorry minor interruption um <clears throat> but anyways um this perfume is based on the Chanel one of the okay this perfume is based on one of the Chanel ones um I know they have a trio of a light green a light pink and a like a yellow one um, but this one isn't one of those. I don't know which one it is specifically, but I like it a lot. As you can see, I've worn it quite a few times since um, the video I posted, fake Chanel perfume, Chanel, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's pretty nice. I wear it a lot. Um, this one is a copy of Angel, John, John. Uh, it's a copy of Angel. I'm trying to pronounce the name right, but you know that Angel perfume by um by that one guy. There we go, Thierry Mugler. There, Thierry Mugler. It's a a replica of that perfume. This one is So de la Renta. I have no idea. Um, I don't think it's it's an expensive brand. I think it's just a copy of something. I don't know. This is something that my mom had, and it has a, sm a harsh smell, but I like it. Um, if I'm going out, if I'm going to spend the day outside or something, somewhere airy, I do like it. Here's a baby fat perfume, and here's an Avon one uh, called Outspoken, and the face of it is friggy. And here is a Mary Kate and Ashley Coast to Coast perfume in London Fog, I believe. <laughs> And back there we have this perfume called Elite, and it also has kind of like a harsh, really, really, really mature woman type of smell. Um, but I do like it anyway. I like it, uh, like I said, for outside and things that's such of that nature. And then this is a liquid deodorant by Avon. It smells like flowers. It smells nice. So that is basically the rack for my perfumes. Simple. Let me go ahead and show you the other one. Here is the other rack, and this is actually a letter holder. There you have four rollerball perfumes up there, and then there's some three smaller perfumes. This one is from Limited Two, and it's actually uh, really, really old. It's from probably when I was in fourth or fifth grade. 
but I couldn't get rid of it because it has sentimental value. It smells really good. It smells like a uh, pineapple. Let me sniff it right now. Mm. At one time, I like remember I sprayed like my whole room with it, and it's just a perfume that I don't know if I'm ever gonna find again. I mean, they don't have limited to anymore, so so sad. Um, but anyways, then there's a curves perfume that I hold for sentimental value because uh, one of my first best friends gave it to me. We're not friends anymore, but it still holds some kind of sentimental value. <laughs> um, and then this is a smaller version of the the that other perfume sold at La Renta, which I have no idea what what is that? Is that trying to copy Oscar de La Renta? I don't know. But anyways, it's yeah, that's my little rollerball perfume rack now. And this one. So that's how I have my current perfumes. And those are the current perfumes that I've been using. Thank you all for watching. Um, I do have a a Snapchat. Uh, I get bored because no, I don't really have anybody on there. So if you want to, I'm Pink Pink Kirby 101. I'm also Pink Kirby 101 on Instagram. So yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good day. And for sure if you add me, I'll add you back. Because that's what social media is all about. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Bye.